Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I have a little treat for you. This is a 2013 Mustang. We're putting halo fog lights. These are made from Axiom. And we're also putting in a chin splitter from Roush Performance. That's gonna go underneath over here like that. So first things first, take the bumper off. And to do that, you gotta take clips off on top over here. All you gotta do is pop the flathead under the tip over here. There's a little notch in there for the head. And the head just comes up. And once the head comes out, you're ready to play. And you just pop that out. Then you put your little flathead under here. And this pops right out too. So we're gonna go ahead and do all those. Put these somewhere where you could find them later. It's another one here. And there's a last one right here on the driver's side. So it's eight of these. And if it falls, good luck finding it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get I'm gonna find that later. Now all you have to do is pull this cover right off. Next order of business is take these one, two, three, four plastic rivet types with the Phillips head on top. So I'll do those. All right, next one here. Now if that doesn't come out, you can put a little flat head under it to persuade that out. And you put a little flat head underneath and pop that out. Now, these are eight millimeter headed bolts and there's four of them. So you take those out. All right, now you have seven millimeter trim bolts here. That's one, two on this side, and two on the other side. You can also turn the wheel. In this case, this is the passenger side. You can turn it left to get more access here. So you can go ahead and take those off. Alright, uh, next thing is take this 7mm bolt off here, 7mm. I'm also taking off these 7mm all around here and whatever is here over there. And I'm just going to take all of these out to pop this whole thing off. Go ahead and do that. You also have a 7 millimeter bolt here. Just go around get all the 7 millimeters at once. Make your life easier. And there's one more over here. So basically whoever has a flat washer, big flat washer, you take it off. You take all these bolts off, you're going to see them, they're in your face. And next I'm also going to take these 8mm bolts here. There should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, now that you take these bolts off over here, this whole piece just slides out. Whoa, just like that. Alright, next thing, next thing you do is you take these side marker lights out. To do that, there's a little clip right in there. You push that down and you pull this out like that. Came out like butter. Who said working on cars was hard? It wasn't me. And same thing here. 
push in, then pull out. Don't forget to pull out, it's very important. All right, now the bumper is ready for removal. What you do is you grab this side first, or the other side, doesn't matter, it just pops right out. Just like that. Just clips, it clips onto. Now do the other side. You just grab it from over here. You put your fingers in there and you pop it out. Like that. You're going to feel this whole thing slide out like that. There's also one more clip in the back over there. Make sure this whole bumper comes off like this. All right, now what you do is down and out. So you push this down and pull it out. Take your time, and now you take the headlights off from over here. There's a clip down here. All right, so what you do here is you pull down on this clip right here, and you pull it out. Or you could just take these out. These are Torx bits. I believe they're T15s. And you take this out, and you have more room in there to work. So we took those out, now the whole bumper comes right off. One other thing I want to show you guys, this uh, styrofoam bumper here. You see the plastic rivets? These, they're supposed to go in there. There's a hole right in there. So you don't want to put this hanging like that back on. So you just pop this out. And once you pop this out, you don't have to pop it all the way. You just put it back in the hole, like so. And you just push this back in. And it's back in. So a little thing to look out for. Alright, now you take these T15 Torx off here, there's one, two, three, four, and five. Four and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure the bumper is not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest off. All right, so you take this off, and this is where it aligns the light, the fog light. So you could just put this to the side like that, and now you can take these uh, seven millimeter bolts off here. This three, one, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. That's the last bolt, and once you take that off. This whole thing comes off like this. And as you can see in the front here, you can just remove it. Wiggle it out of the way. Now you can put the new one in. All right, now that I have it on the bench here, let me show you how this all works, comes together. This is the piece we just took out. So be careful with this. Just put that to the side. This is the alignment over here. So you just move that over. And now over here, this is the new halo bulb. What I did was, I don't know if I could show you real quick. You just pull that. You see these round tubes over here? One goes in here and the other one goes there. So put this one in first over here, right in there like that. And this one, you can move back, you can move it out a little bit. If you need a little extra clearance, you just pop that in there like that. So it's like a little clip in there. So now this is good. So I'm just going to go ahead now, 
move this aligning tab to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put this in like that. Actually, this goes in first, sorry, because there's a little hook over here that goes onto it. So now you just put the bolts in, the Torx bolts. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. All right, now that I complete everything, you just put this back in. And you got the three seven millimeter bolts, one, two, and three on the bottom where you took off. The same ones you took off last time, just put those back in. Uh, now over here, to install the Roush chin splitter, we're going to take one bolt off here and one bolt off here. I pretty much just took the bumper and reversed it, put it down upside down. So in order to take this one off, you need a little, there's a clip that's going to keep turning. So I'm just going to hold the clip down and, and um, go ahead and take that off. It's an 8mm bolt. That's what's behind it. Actually, this one you probably won't have to do it because there's a little plastic piece here that's going to hold it. <coughs> yep, so you don't have to do that on this side. That's it. Now, on the other side of this splitter, you got these little clips again, so you use a little flat head, or you could use a little. Uh, pick, you just pull the head off, pull it out, and the whole thing pulls out like that. So this is lined over here with those. Some of these clips are broken, so it's no biggie. This will come right out, you push this down, and come right out. Same thing here. Now you pop this out. And that's it. Just comes right off like that. Alright, now that you get the splitter off, you see these tabs over here? You gotta break them off. You just, like that. Just go ahead and break all of them off. All right, now what we did was, I took the Roush spoiler, and I put it right on top of the, mu of the stock Mustang spoiler. And this is what they want you to do with this spoiler. You see here where it's indented to put the bolts in? Now, you can't, it rests on this piece over here on top. So you're gonna have to put the bolts through there, and you can't, because there's like, this little groove in here. So what they want you to do is, they want you to cut over here, all this, so this will sit flush under here. See how it's sitting now? You can't do anything because this piece blocks it. So they want you to cut that piece off. Now to measure that, you do 18 and a half inches from here all the way to here. So you put the measuring tape on it. And what I did was 18 and a half inches is right here. You measure from the end over here, and you take this around, go to 18 and a half inches. So 18 and a half inches is right here. I just went there, went there and made a mark. I made a mark in there. You could do it with a pen or whatever. All right, now you got to cut this all the way straight through, up to the lip here, and straight that way. Uh, that's so this last tab over here fits in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now.
Now, once you have it off, you could just deburr a little bit. Alright, same thing on this side. You do one cut straight to the end of the lip over here, and now you just cut it straight down. Cut a little end piece over here. And you're pretty much done. And now again, same theory over here, just deburr this a little bit. Alright, so you have eight clips here from the factory. You just gotta pry them out with a little screwdriver, really easy to do. And you put the little clips that they supply you with, you just put it right over the hole, like so. Really easy. Put the little screwdriver right under it. Put a little screwdriver right under it. And just pry it back up. You just slide the new one on. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead. There's eight of these here on the bottom of the bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right. So I got a little mini torch here, and I got some plastic from those tabs that we took off before. And this is broken here, so I'm just gonna glue it together with this tab. Just use that as filler. And now you can just go ahead and straighten it out with needle nose to fix that. And that's it, you just plastic welded it and you could form it to shape. It's better than you. All right, now you take the new spoiler you put it on like this. Make sure these align over here with the J clips you put in. And you put three bolts just to secure it in place. And you're going to use this as a template. One in the middle. And one at the end over here. Alright, guys, now that's what you got to do here. You got to align this with this corner so it sits flush with this corner over here. And these are the holes you're gonna make in here. One, two, three. So I just put a little vice grip once you aligned it, just to hold it in place. And you start with a eighth inch drill bit as a pilot hole. You don't want to go too big because you know you want to start small and go up. You you don't want to start drilling you know too big at once because just you don't want to stretch things out and cause problems later on. So you gotta work it, baby. You gotta work it slowly. You'll thank this clown. Alright, now just do a hole right in the middle. Now you put the quarter inch drill bit in. Once you did your pilot hole with the eighth inch, then you bust out your big monster. And you drill it, baby. Yeah, look at that. Should be coming back for more, too. So that's one there. See how I stretch that out? That's what you want. Then two and three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of them. There's three on this side and three on the other side. There's six total. All right, so once you do, once you did your three holes here and three holes on this side, you just take your screw, your bolts off here, the ones that you pinned before, the three, to hold the chin splitter down as a template. Keep that off too. Okay, so that's 
chin splitter goes on the side. And now you put these little clips in the holes that you just drilled. Like that. With this piece going downwards. Okay, now you take the closeout panel and you take the three clips off on this side and three clips off on the other side. There's a little, little flat head here. And I'll do that on the other side. Alright, now you put the new chin spoiler on it. Once again, and the ones that we just put the six J clips in, you put the bolts in through those with the supplied hardware kit. There's a seven millimeter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There's one, two, three, the ones we just drilled. Then also you put the remaining six J clips here on these tabs, one, two, three, and the other side's the same thing. So remember again, this bumper is upside down, so you want this piece to go upwards when installed. So you just put that in here like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, she's liking it. She's taking it in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the remaining bolts here, the screws, and tighten it down. And do the same thing on the other side. One quick thing I also want to talk about, you see here where you align the corners at the edge of the spoiler over here in the bumper? When you're tightening down these, these bolts I just showed you, keep your hand and move it to where you want it over here. It could be quarter inch or whatever. Just move it where you want it, then hold it down or you can put the vice grip in. Then just tighten this bolt down on the edge and do the same thing on the other side. And you do that all the way around. Now, once you get the edges down where you want them, tighten down, then you do the inside inside bolts. All right, now we're gonna install the bumper. Now, before I do that, I just want to show you how everything fits into here. Uh, this ballast, you could tape it about three inches away from the edge here, so around there, and that'll clear everything in there. And also, what you're doing is when you're pushing this back in. You have to be very careful. So you got these tabs here. Go inside this foam bumper here. So that's what you gotta... You see that tab right there? That's gonna go in this foam piece over here. So you got a bunch of tabs going over there into the foam piece. Alright, now the ballasts. You gotta put them three inches in from the edge so it won't hit the headlight over here. So I'm inside the bumper, and I'm three inches in, right about there. So it's going to be mounted right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Oops. Okay, you can see a little line over here, body line. Just put it, you can put it along that body line. So right there. And now over here, I'm just going to put some electrical tape, or you could also put a little zip tie in there. I'm going to do that too, actually. But for now, I'm just going to put a little electrical tape there, just to hold it in place. One right there, one right there. All right, now the zip tie, I'm just gonna go in through here. Look at that. Just like stock, baby, right from the factory. Couldn't do any better. Clip that off. 
And you're good. You can do the same thing on the other side. One thing you want to do before you put the bumper back on is just put a little bit of painter's tape over here so it won't scratch when you're putting the bumper back on. Just along over here. Especially these are new cars, so you don't really want to mess with anything over here. And the bumpers over here come off on the side, so you can just easily take it off. And the glue comes off easily too. So I'm going to do that on the other side too. Alright, now this piece over here, as I was showing you before, goes on top over here. All right. Now before you put it in, you got your headlight clips and you just pop them in. The bottom clip goes underneath. Okay, so that one's in. Now I'm going to do the other side. And you have to do this blindly because you don't have enough room to take a look. But once it clips like that, you know it's in there. And the wires where the ballasts are from, are, 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 where the ballasts are, just make sure they hang to the right side where the marker lights are over there, the parking lights. So now you could ease it in. First you do the top. Make sure nothing's caught anywhere. Now you can just push it in. Yeah, baby, push it in. Ah. And all those clips should go right where the foam, styrofoam bumper is. Just push in the hole, I mean the bumper. And over here, you can take the plastic, sorry, the painter's tape we put on here. And these go in here. There's little clips in here. So those go in there. Oh. Go right, right on top of the clips. You can hear it. When the clips go in, engage, you're gonna hear it. So that's good over there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And you can see these clips here. You put these tabs right above the clips. And push in. That's good. Alright guys, there's one thing we're putting the bumper back in. You might realize this sticks out a little bit over here. Now what I did to show you guys is, I took the wheel well cover off. It's just a couple of uh, plastic screw type of rivets you just un unscrew this and the rivet comes up a little bit then you just pull the whole thing out so that's what goes in there make sure these clips over here are all in and this clip here goes on the inside over here so hold on a second while I do this and the helper here to help me out. Like that. So you can put the bolt through there. So now this all lines up. You can see over here everything's good. And the wheel well cover. You put back in. You can always take the tire off, but I'm a lazy clown. I do it with the tire on, because I'm special. And this plastic piece goes inside this lip over here. Like that. Alright, and I just put, sorry. You put the bolts back into the holes.
All right, so that's how the ballast looks once it's mounted. You see it's nice and hi hidden over there. Now what you got to do here is the red wire goes with the purple wire. And the other wire goes with the green wire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. First just take the tape off old harness to get access to wires. Get a wire loom. You have them here. So the red wire goes with the purple. There's a purple with a white stripe, and the other gray wire with the green stripe is the black wire. So what they give you is these clips. Now you can take that out, and let me show you how to do this. You turn it around and you bend it over. and you stick it. This goes, you stick it over here. One of the sides you could go straight through, one side you can't, one of the sides you can't. So the ones where you can't, you just butt this one in, you stick it in there. Then you grab the purple that goes with the red, and you slide the red in through the side over here. Like so. And now you turn this around and clip it. And what this does is, you see this metal tab over here? As you push it down, it's going to connect these two wires. So you can do this by hand. Make sure this they're both in well. Just go down and tighten it down. And it clicks once. And if you're strong enough, you can make it click twice. But I'm not strong enough. Well, I need needle nose pliers. Clowns got to start hitting the gym more. Let me just clip that down. There, it clipped. You got to hear that second clip. Now, once it's in, you pull, you tug in the wire a little bit, you tug in this wire, and make sure it's a move, and you're good. And I'll do the other side. Click and you're good. Gotta hear that second click and you know when you're good. Now, tug tug, good. Tug tug, good. Now you can fit whatever you can back in the wire, not wire loom, the factory wire loom. Alright, now put electrical tape around it. Alright, now you're done, and you clip this back into the factory marker light. You can also tape these to the side also. And you're done under here with the lights. Alright, now you take the factory stock chin spoiler here, and you just put one bolt in the middle, Just to hold it in place over here. Yeah, and put the two bolts at the end over here, and I'm gonna put the two bolts at the end over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, now over here, this corner here, I just gotta trim it a little bit more so it could fit in here. I can put this in and move it up. So let me go ahead and do that now. And as you can see now, it fits better. So you go ahead and tighten those down now. Alright, so you put these bolts here, these gray ones. 
And once you tighten these down once, go back and tighten them down again because they're going to start loosening. So keep on doing that a couple times. And over here, you got these black ones with the big washers on them. So your chin spoiler, chin splitter is actually installed. And you also got a few back here, one here and over there. So that's what that looks like. Now this bumper here, you put these four millimeter, four eight millimeter bolts, one, two, three, and four. And over here is the one, two, three, four plastic screw type rivets. So these you can just push down, just put in a hole, push it down. There's a lot of holes in this car. And then you take the screw and just screw it in. All right, now you get the cover on top. And it goes in one shot. How easy was that? And you got the eight plastic rivets. So you just put those in. Put the bottom piece in first. Then you put, push it on top. All right, so that's what the car looks like with the halo fog lights. Now I'll show you outside what it looks like with the chin spoiler. All right, so installed the halos. That's what the Roush chin splitter looks like. If you could tell from the video, in a second. So that's everything installed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. Also, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do to me down there. Do as you please. Plenty of this clown to go around. Share me, like me, whatever you want.